Yeah. It's okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. That's my son. Oh, hello. Is my friend from China? Oh, you're so big. This is the most important work I've ever done. I feel this is probably the most important work I've ever done in my life. Now? Now. That becomes a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like strong. My first wife, Nina. My second wife, Kiran. The first 15 years, my mother never kept the phone on the hook. When I heard the script of Dangal, I loved it. I told the director and the producer, I want to do it 10 years from now. They said yes. We'll wait for 10 years. We'll they make some. Yes? Yeah, they said yes. Dangal, Dangal. A passage to India. 如果不是为了米叔，我多半不会去印度，至少不会在五月初热死人的季节去。这一路，遥远、艰辛，都值了。Do you like Amir Khan's movies? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 能够在今天，这么多人花这么久的时间，大老远不计成本的追踪采访一个人，奢侈又幸福。OK. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I'm where? Actually, before completing the interview, I don't care if I meet Mishu how many times, I'm not honest. We were supposed to leave at night at Mumbai, so it was the last day to interview Mishu. I was preparing for the day. I was up early in the morning. I got up and started preparing for the interview. 稿子什么准备问题什么的，因为我都准备好了，我就一直那等着，就保持一个采访状态。Where's Do you? Hi. <laughs> it's okay. I'm so I'm so embarrassed. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so embarrassed. It's okay. So you wanted to take some shot of me coming down? Yeah. So we'll do that now. Okay. <laughs> you really know TV well. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry about this. No worry. I'm feeling very bad. It's okay. I understand. You've been living in this place long? For four years. Four years. Wow! Hello! Wow, it's a she or he? She. Hello. That's my son. Oh, hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. These are my friends from China. Nice to see you. Can we go down? Yes. Thank you. 就他其实对他生活是那种尺度可能是挺挺大挺敞开的。然后他儿子在吃饭打招呼都特别自然。所以真的见到米叔那一刻，我就那颗心真的是落地才落地。So this is like proper Chinese food. Uh, yes. And the sauce is from sesame, I think. Ah. Yeah. Hope you're hungry. Hmm. Is it good? It's very good. The the cauliflower is really good. Good. Should we start the interview? I mean, for, for, for today? Yeah. We thought we we're going to do that in Mumbai. Oh, okay. That's good. We can but do it in Mumbai. Yeah? Yeah, we can do it in Mumbai. And we we'll, we'll want to follow you around. So mm -hmm. we'll have to have like what? Placement, follow us. If I go out in public... Uh -huh. It will be like I'll, chaos. No, I'll have to inform the police <gasps> that I'm going out in public. Oh, my God. But even when I'm not going out in public, oh. there is a policeman with me. And I have my own security. We work in rural Maharashtra with uh, villagers to try and solve the water problem. So I heard. So my wife and I travel to different villages in the month of April and May. You can capture that here. If he is a American Hollywood actor, then I don't want to go. 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 我都没有看过，我的很多观众也会没有看过，他们更没有看过在那样的环境里面的一个比较真实的一个米叔
，所以一切都有意义。哇，米叔劲儿太大了，这真是五一劳动节呀、啊！तो मैं आप लोगों का शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहता हूँ के साथ काम किया और अपना जो एक भावना दिखाया आप लोगों ने इट इज रियली वंडरफुल और आप जैसे हजारों Coincidentally, I'm reading a Chinese book right now. Oh, really? Yeah. The, the, the deer. The deer and the cauldron. I think I got Lu Ding Xing. Yes, yes, it's very entertaining. Yeah, it's very, very entertaining. Very, very entertaining. And the previous night, I slept only two hours no. because I was reading the book. 
I was supposed to sleep at 8 o'clock, but I started reading the book and I read till 1.30. Oh. Once you start reading, you cannot stop. Definitely, yeah. definitely. <laughs> His books have been must read. Yeah. Books for all the students, for yeah. generations, for, for at least two or three generations in yeah. China. When we were in high school, mm. the teachers were there, you know, saying something and were like, we're reading okay, it. Okay, <laughs> okay, like that. <laughs> His real name is Zha Liang Yong. Zha Liang Yong. Zha Liang Yong. Yeah. Today you will meet my wife also. Okay, good. She's coming there. Yesterday she was in Nasik. It's another village. Another village. It's quite far, far away. Uh, far away. Oh, okay. People were working across 4,000 villages. That's why we decided we will go to separate places. I came here, she went somewhere else. So this is something you do every year? This is the fourth year. Uh, because one year we spent in research. And then we started it on the ground. Mm -hmm. Since we started it, it's been three years. Oh, okay. Every year in Maharashtra, there are some parts of the state where there is very little rainfall. Oh. Previously, we were doing a TV show. And the same team which was doing the TV show is working in Pani Foundation. What we do is we teach the villages how to do watershed management. In the show, Kiran and me are the hosts. And we bring out the stories that are happening across Maharashtra. Maharashtra is a very big state. It's bigger than Germany. So the population is going to be like 100 million or something? Yeah, it's wow. a little more than 100 million wow. in Maharashtra. I feel this is probably the most important work I have ever done in my life. What I'm doing now, of trying the to... The most important? Yeah. You are changing thousands of lives. Their whole life changes when the water comes to the village. Well, here we are. Yeah, that will be our vehicle. Good morning, good morning. So do I need to put my bag somewhere? Okay. Water? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Hello. Hi. 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 Yes, okay. Mm. Mm. Hi. 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 This is Kira. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> Finally. What's your name? Lu Yu. Lu Yu. <laughs> yes, I will. I'm just meeting everyone. I will join. G. Should I take one selfie? Later on, later on. No, right now we are working. Na? If I take one selfie, all selfies will start. Work will stop. So, no taking selfie. How are you? Hot. Hot. How are you, Amber? Pull up, pull up, pull up. Would you 
我今天就是各种治愈，完全不顾形象。这装扮很奇怪，但我真的没办法，因为太热太晒了，然后完全不能化妆，汗出的要死。从北京到孟买之后，坐了十二小时的车，然后又再坐一个小时直升机，然后再开差不多一个小时车到了这儿。嗯，这个村子在我们中国的很多观众标准来看，应该是非常非常贫困的，但在印度，这样地方应该不少吧。这一路啊，我跟着米叔走了几个村子之后，我的感受就是，他挺不容易的，对他我是充满了，充满了敬佩之心的，因为。这一路的苦对于我们来说，可能的确跟我们的生活常态是完全不同的。呃，用这样的方式接近米叔，对我来说，我觉得很有必要。这儿的民众，反正看到他就是各种欢呼、鼓掌，呃，有挺奇特的经历吧。嗯 ，Nice meet you. <laughs> Do you like Amir Khan's movies? Yeah. Yeah. Which movie is your favorite? Lagan. Okay, Lagan. Do you like his movies? Which, which movie is your favorite? All, all of his movies? What do you like about him? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no Hindi for me. Yeah, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. We're going to show him a Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. This lady is very international. Bye bye. This lady is cute. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.
She's an amazing woman. She's an amazing I person. I like her. Yeah, she's a wonderful person. I'm very lucky to have have her in my life. Mhm. Mm and we are very close and we love spending time together and we're constantly laughing <laughs> when we are together because we find our sense of humor is quite similar and you like strong women. I like strong women. My first wife Reena, my second wife Kiran. So I like people who are strong. I don't want to bring them down to women and men. Mm -hmm. I like people who are strong. I th I think it's really nice that you still have very good relationship with your first wife. Yes. It's very yes. modern. It's very to Well, see she's like she's that. a wonderful person as well. And sometimes a relationship doesn't work, but she but I have a lot of love and respect for her. Uh in fact, we are working together on this Pani project, the mm -hmm. water project. She is the COO of the company. She usually runs from the, uh, runs the work from the office. Do you think it's easy for a woman to live with an artist to 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 be the wife of an artist? To be the spouse yeah. of a creative person I think would come with a set of challenges. And in this case both of us are creative people because my yeah. wife is also a writer and director. Yeah. It has taken me a long time to come to terms with the fact that I'm a very self-obsessed person. <laughs> yeah. When I'm doing Thugs of Hindustan or I'm doing Dangal, mm -hmm. that film is taking so much of my attention and focus and I'm so sharply into that that at that time my family actually is sort focused. And then Kiran told me this about a year ago. She said, you know, actually you're not interested in us. <laughs> She said, so I said, what do you mean? She said, actually you're not interested in us. But I'm not sure it's such a bad thing. And I'm not sure I want you to change. If you change, then you won't be what you are right now. Mm -hmm. So she said, even when you're sitting with me, I can see that your mind is somewhere else. <laughs> and at first I used to get a little irritated with that. But now I like that. That's you. So when she said that to me, I was like, you know, she's right. <laughs> so in the last one year, actually, I've tried to make a practical change in my timetable. If I'm in Mumbai, mm -hmm. I come home at six in the evening. And I'm with my son and Kiran from six to eight because at eight o'clock he goes to sleep. Then if I have a meeting, I have it after eight o'clock at night. Like Kiran is totally the difference between me and Kiran as parents. Her life revolves around Azad. That, that's something I've come to terms with myself. Yourself, yeah. That's to a man, well, to a lot of men. Mm. I think career comes first, always comes first. Mm. For me, it's not necessarily career. It's the creation It's something part. that, no, it's anything that excites me. So there was a time when I used to be into the Rubik's Cube. All my time I used to spend... Oh, oh my God. Oh, this is a complex one. One, two, three, four, five. Five layer. One. Five layer I've never been able to do. I can do the three layer. So I used to just be doing, solving this. I was 14 years old at So everything you do, you just put, you just do it wholeheartedly. Full, yeah, wholeheartedly. You don't need to look at it? I can solve partly without looking at it. Wow. Some things I need to look. Wow. You can, we can continue talking. No, because I'm amazed by this. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm not used to these colors. This part of, um... Wow. See, Mishu Zoda, your fans will love it. I took really long to do it this time because I got confused with the colors. You see, your eyes get used to colors. Sir, okay, what kind of colors do you? Are you mera used cube to? When I'm doing it with my cube, my brain and my eyes are, are far ahead of my fingers. Like three, four moves ahead, I know wow. what I'm supposed to do. I can make you design as well. A simple design. What's that? Oh. <laughs> wow. This is nice. Ah, I see. See. So the I colors see. are different, so I, I yeah. get slightly confused. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had met Kiran before when I was doing Lagan. She was one of the ADs on that. But at that time, we didn't have any relationship. or We were not even great friends at that time. She was one of the people on the unit. It is after my separation and divorce, after some time, that I met her again. In that moment of trauma <laughs> her phone came uh -huh. and I talked to her on the phone for half an hour and when I put the phone down I said my god 
I feel so happy when I talk to her. It struck me in that instant that when I'm talking to her, I'm so happy. So then we began dating and we began seeing each other. Then we lived together for, I think, a year or a year and a half before we got married. I can never imagine a life without Kiran as my partner. I feel very blessed and I'm very grateful for it. Yeah, and your huge success in China, that comes as a surprise. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a huge surprise. A lot of people, media in China and India have asked me, what have you done? Why do the Chinese people love mm. you so much? I said, I have not done anything. All the credit for it goes to the people of China because they have discovered me. It's very comedy and sensible. His favorite uh, reality show is uh, Satya Me Jayate. क्या गुजरता होगा परवीन और अमीशा जैसी माओ पर लेकिन क्या ये सिर्फ इन दोनों की कहानी है या इसका कोई चलन शुरू हो चुका है लगान ये पंजाई हमका जीत लाएगा एक बात आप सब लोगों का फिर से याद दिलाई दो श्रजा पापा बा दंगल इज गुड ऑल फिल्म आर गुड क्या मस्ते क्या मस्ते फर्स्ट मूवी सीक्रेट सुपर स्टार从来都没有想过，呃，就是可以去实现自己的梦想。但是看了他的电影以后，我才有勇气。然后我跨了一个专业考研，现在正在等成绩。所以说我真的特别特别感谢他。I He's the best. Each movie, these are doing hard work on every part of the movie. As compared to any other star, Amir Khan is the best. Better than Salman and Shah Rukh. I'm a huge fan of you, and I love you. This year, 2018, actually marks the 30th anniversary. Uh, as an actor, uh, yeah. Right? It's my 30th year as an actor. My first film released in 1988. Your rise to stardom was really quick right it was sudden yeah yeah so was it scary it was exciting it was exciting because when the film released it was <clears> called <throat> a, a mere mania right so, something like that well yeah it was quite mad because for many years before that there had not been a new movie star young movie star the first film i did was a romantic film And it was a tragic film. We both mm -hmm. die in the mm -hmm. end. The film became really popular. The songs became. It was a smash success. Whenever I went in the auto rickshaw, people would spot me on the road, and they would chase my auto rickshaw, the cars, and they would stop and they would, you know, want my autograph. So at first it was very exciting and a lot of fun, but also unnerving. I've been caught in mobs where I felt I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, they're just clabbering all over you and they feel that, that they will lose you if they don't grab you at that time. According to me, uh -huh. my work in the film was very mediocre. Mediocre? Very mediocre. You mean by the standard you have right now or by the standard you had back then? Back then. When I saw the film, I thought the other actors had done very well. I thought the girl had done really well. My work was very, very... Uh, mediocre. Inconsistent, very mediocre. <laughs> And I was very upset with my work, with my in my first film. I you hated. You were upset. Yeah, I hated my work. I didn't like it at all. So I used to be wondering why are they crazy about me? Can't they see my work is very mediocre? It's horrible work. Why are they going crazy? And in my house, the first fifteen years, my mother never kept the phone on the hook. Wow. Because the moment she would put the phone on the hook, it would ring. How did so, they know your phone number? I don't know. They found out. Mm. That time there were no cell phones either. And at first my family was very happy and excited. Oh, people are calling for you. And I used to talk to my fans on the phone. But because, no, I was also happy. Okay. No one had ever wanted to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> but after one month, it was exhausting. 
because the phone just would not stop ringing. Actually, it would not stop ringing. The moment I put it down, ring, ring, it would ring. The moment you put it down, it would ring. My mom and dad, even they used to get really excited because they would talk to my fans when I was not at home and they'd be very happy. <laughs> and then they couldn't and, stand it. And, and then they couldn't take it. So then my mom had to keep the phone off the hook. After one year, she would try putting it, ring, ring, again it would ring. Continuously. So she, now I think when cell phones started coming in, <laughs> she started putting it back on. <laughs> because until the landline was on, it was impossible for her to use the phone. But after that movie, the, n the following two or three movies that you did wasn't very good. No, they were not good. So you, you were labeled as one movie one wonder film, or something like that. One film wonder, yeah. The press began calling me one film wonder. That was harsh. Uh, it was accurate. It was accurate? It was accurate. <laughs> because the films were not good. What happened is after my first film released, then I got a lot of offers from different producers and directors. And the directors that I wanted to work with, the ones that I thought were really good directors, mm -hmm. they were not approaching me. So I began t signing films of new directors and new producers mm -hmm. and you know. So I signed about nine films. And at that time, actors in India were doing 30 films, 40 films. Every year? Simultaneously, at one time. 30 films yeah. at the same time? At the same time. So an actor would have 30 or 40 films he or she was shooting at different stages. So one film is starting, one is halfway through, one is, you know, quarter through. In Hong Kong, the record was like 17 or 18. 17 but, or 18. But, but never 30 or 40. Yeah. So, and, but it was also how these films used to get stuck. The film industry at that time used to work in a very chaotic way. So by that standard, you were still very choosy. I, I was very choosy. There were people who were doing 40 films and 50 films and 60 films. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 30 was the lowest. Okay. <laughs> so a lot of these films that I signed were big mistakes. <laughs> but it took me a while to realize that. When I began working with them and the shooting of these films began. So six to eight months later or one year later, I realized that I'm in a soup. And the media started calling me the one film wonder. Uh -huh. If three have released, the remaining six are also very bad. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Nobody else knows that. I know that. So I'm like, I'm finished. And at that time, when I was shooting for these nine or ten films, I was very unhappy. Very unhappy. I used to be crying. You mean really actually, crying? Actually crying. I used to come home and I used to weep. I used to lie in bed and I used to weep. I'm not kidding. Because you were thinking, oh gosh, tomorrow morning I have to get up again. Do and the same do, thing again. I, I'm so unhappy doing this work. And I have committed to it, so I have to do it. So you had no way to bail out? I had no way to bail out. And that time, I swore to myself. Never that again. That never again am I ever going to do a film unless I'm happy with the director, and I trust his sensibility, the script, and the producer. Unless these three things are totally 100% in place, I am not going to sign a film. Even if I lose my career, Mm -hmm. Even if I don't get any other, any more work, I'm not going to compromise on this. I decided. I think a very strong person, 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 a very 不计前路，不问结果，就那么付出，特别笨的付出，特让人感动。你这样的人，你会觉得你内心就他不管演什么，你先天就已经接受了。And it's been an exciting journey. When I did Dangal, everyone thought I was finished because I had become so fat. I could see it in people's eyes. Oh man, he's never going to come back. This is his last film. He's finished. <laughs> When I heard the script of Dangal, I loved it. And my first reaction was a sensible reaction, mm -hmm. which was, I told the director and the producer, right now, I'm at my peak as an actor. I've just done PK, I've just done Dhoom 3. Mm -hmm. I'm looking like a million bucks. I've got 9% body fat. Don't make me a fat old man now. But I want to do it 10 years from now. Can you, wait for, can you wait for years? 10 years? So they said yes. The director and the producer both said, We'll wait for 10 years. We'll make yes? Yeah, they said yes. So I said my real age is 50, 51. But my screen age is 35. I'm playing characters who are 32, 35. If I do Dangal, 
the character in Dangal is around that age, early 50s. I said the audience will realize the reality, what my reality is. <laughs> the truth about my age will come out. <laughs> when you see PK, you think, oh, he's a, you know, he's a, what, maybe 28, 30 years old or whatever. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, he's actually, oh, that's his age. Oh, that's his real age. Hmm. Suddenly your image comes crashing down. I'm saying as an actor, these are the insecurities I go through. But I couldn't get the script out of my blood. Then again, after some time, I said, I want to hear it again. So after one year, exactly one year later, I said, you know what? This is my next movie. I don't care. I have to do it. I just love it. And I have to do it.一点点皮毛而已比如说我看到那个千人洗衣场我会觉得特别的沉重那真是超出我的承受的极限我看到是痛苦但是我的确不能够百分之百的说住在那的人都是痛苦苦难的我不知道人家可能比我要快乐我也
and it also has a lot of problems and issues and especially when i did my tv show called chatime vijayate yeah because that that time we were doing very extensive research on each topic and all that material would come before us and it was quite difficult to absorb that so that was a huge learning experience for me as well are there any retributions for you being so socially active you know you mean do some people attack me because of that yeah or your movie got banned things like that there are retributions right yeah well um, that has happened a few times my movie has never got banned across the country when you're dealing with people who have uh, a violent uh, response to things mm -hmm. then they use violence and they threaten theaters that if you release this particular actor's film or this particular director's film then we will stone the theater or we will attack the theater so the theater owners get scared mm -hmm. and then they are scared to release the film so they may not be an official ban but uh, sometimes elements which are which which use violence as a means to to get their ends to reach their ends then these things do happen which is more important your your charity work your, your social work or your movies i can't decide which is more important or less important both are equally important and both are my passion so what is your ultimate goal in life is to sleep i love <laughs> sleeping and i love reading so my ultimate goal in life is to be in a position where i'm just sleeping and reading and waking up and sleeping and reading because i'm actually a very lazy person people don't believe me but it's the truth every film i do i get so tired i feel okay this is my last film i can't do any more films after this i always feel that way we're really looking forward to the new movie of yours mm. opening in china so. yeah i'm nervous about that now even we're, now you have it hasn't been finished almost, yet it's almost 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 so you started to I'm starting feel to nervous. feel nervous but good luck mishu thank you i think it's going to do great i hope so in china thank you 感谢新浪娱乐、新浪微博、网易娱乐、凤凰娱乐、腾讯娱乐、搜狐娱乐、加卡新闻客户端、趣头条、黑鱼 APP、碰香 APP、模范生、泛娱乐对本节目的大力支持。欢迎从新浪新闻客户端、网易新闻客户端、凤凰新闻客户端、腾讯新闻客户端、腾讯视频、搜狐视频获取本节目的更多信息。